Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the WordPress and how we can use the system variables uh, when you're running it, uh, inside the Docker. First we will create the, the system uh, variables files dot, dot .env. I will call it dot .env development just so we know this is development file and you don't need to put any kind of data inside and uh, then I will convert the configuration file we have here, the vpconfig. I'll put it inside to a new config folder and call it application. That's what the, the, this video is uh, going about. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's starting up. Before we are starting up, I hope you want to subscribe my channel by clicking on the thing in the right corner below. And don't forget, you can always go for my GitHub and download this code after. It's uh, free. And you can just download it and see how it's working on your computer, of course. So let's uh, let's start. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, going inside here and uh, say below the builds, we want to say the env file, and uh, we want this one say dot uh, dot uh, dot env development. That the file we want to create, and uh, I will just have it here, and now we have the file. So all thing is good now. So just close the composer file. The next we want to do here is say config application.php and then we have um, starting up the, the PHP file for the configuration. We'll going back for the env here and we just say HTTP host is equal to local host uh, 81 and VP SSL we are running without SSL and DB name should be WordPress and the DB user we don't know that we can say root and DB password um, should be secret I will use that in the in, in the second movie and the DB host should be uh, MySQL because we are running in development and we need the char set should be UTF-8 and then we just finish for the file here and we can continue inside the, the application now. So let's building up here with the with the host and we say host is equal to server HTTP host and then we say protocol is equal to server protocol. And it's equal to is set server HTTPS and it's not empty. Server host HTTPS. And then we should do HTTPS else it's HTTP whoops so that's how we can make the um, yeah, I can just say I don't have soft wrapping so yeah it's okay then we're going down and say get env this is the function that is built in now, so you can just use the get env. Uh, but I've run this command on older WordPress installation like 4.9. And then you need to create your own get env. Uh, it's not hard, but it's not built in. So I think that's just something new in WordPress. And that's nice. Uh, and then we just say get env here and go inside. So HTTPS is equal to zero and protocol should be um, should be HTTPS. Just do this way. The other way will not work. And then we need to set the the jewel 
and I just say whoops protocol and then host and then we have the URL and define VP home it's URL and then we need the VP we are inside here and we just say home side URL now we are coming for the content so define VP content dear and we want to have it here I don't working with the other one so this one is uh, much better for me I think I love we have the, the this one so we can also just call it here uh, uh, full root path and say equal to and just copy it down here and just pull inside here and make the same we just go into URL here and say domain you are here we don't have any kind of domain so that's well not working so we not we now only need a little bit more here to say defined and db name and get env db name and then we just copy the user password host chance set a call it and that's what we're going to do here user password host set and let's find this should be empty and let me just copy it inside here And we can just go down here to say table pr prefix. If you don't do this, it's will not working. It will say you don't have a prefix. And we just say VP underscore. We always want this one. Of course, we can we can change that, but for now, it's that's the way we're working. Now we're going into the VP config, and we can just remove everything here. The only thing we need up here is recrying ons and then we say config application and we can just do this one vp and no we don't need the vp because it will be second this one should working so let's spin up again docker compose up d and then just wait until everything is scaling up and now it's building and we're just waiting and now we're going for the browser and check what's happening and you can see it's not working and we're going for the, the docker here and see what's happening it's saying um, the index vp yeah it's not working we cry once and it's in the header and it's not working because something is wrong it's saying it's not uh, could open the VV configuration, so let's helping a little bit again and going back for the editor. When you're in the editor, we just need it up here, and uh, we need to rebuild again. So let's going for for Docker and remove it and say Docker volume. docker image and then we just say docker up again and everything should run after that let's try so when it's done we can go in for the browser and reload and you'll see it's running a little bit slow here but it's because it's trying to connect to the database and it's error so the new configuration based on the env setup it's basically working so you are ready for 
the next video where I'm uh, setting up the MySQL and we're making a fully install of the WordPress so it's working. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the thing in the right corner and then you'll get new videos from me when I'm pushing out. And all the code will be on the GitHub so don't forget to go inside and just make a star and something like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for having you and hope to see you next time. Bye.